Hey everyone, in this video we're going to learn about how to integrate Dun with OpenAlgo. So recently Dun had introduced a new authentication process which also supports static IP as well. So in this video we're going to learn about how to configure using the new method. So we are migrating from the old authentication process to the new authentication process. So let's go to the documentation section. The documentation section under brokers you can find you can go to done from here you can go and get the complete documentation about it complete procedures are already involved over here right so i'll show you the process of uh, doing the installation right from the scratch so i'll go to vs code and then from there i'll go and open a new folder i'll go to file open folder and then i'll go to my d drive and then i'm going to create an, a new folder name let's call that as like i'll open i'll go hyphen uh, done and then I'll select that particular folder, right? So ensure that the following things are already installed in your machine. So a couple of things that you need to check over here is like uh, probably the Python version, right? So Python, hyphen hyphen version, Python should be installed and Git has to be installed. If not, you have to go and install Git. So download Git and also ensure that uh, you're also having the uh, pip uh, and uv installed so ensure that pip install uv that will be installing the uv method so the uv method is the fastest way to install uh, open algo right so we always use pip install uv and followed by that uh, what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna go and download open algo from uh, the github so i'll go to the open algo portal from here you can go and click on the github so that will be opening up the github link just copy that link and now you just go to git clone and then you just uh, paste the uh, github url and then type enter that will be cloning or actually downloading open algo and once the open algo is downloaded you have to get into the uh, folder so you just type cd space open algo you just give a tab automatically it recognizes the open algo folder then type enter so now we got into the open algo folder right so inside the open algo folder you will be finding this dot sample dot env file this is the most important file so this is what we're going to copy the file where we're going to place our api key and apc creator so i'll use the command of cp dot sample dot env i'm going to copy to the new file name called dot env file dot env file is the environmental file where we keep all our uh, broker api keys and secret so once this is done uh, first thing what we'll go and configure is the redirect url so let me first i'll go and configure the redirect url which is gonna be done right and followed by that i have to go and get the api key and ap secret as per the documentation so remember it is it should be as per the documentation because it is a little bit different um, so i'll go to the documentation you can find the format over here the format as i said it's slightly different so you have to get the done client id a triple colon is what you have to keep followed by that which is separated uh, by a triple colon and then followed by that api key and then api secret so i'll go to my done uh, login so i already logged into the done trading terminal so from the web-based trading terminal i'll go to the profile section first i'll go to my profile on done then I'll go and copy the client ID, right? I'll go and copy the client ID. I keep it over here, followed by that a triple colon. And then followed by that, I have to go and enter the API key, right? So for that, I'll go and uh, get the access done uh, HQ API, or you can also go and get it from here, done HQ trading API. So from here, we have to go and generate the API key. And before that, you ensure that you are setting up the TOTP if in case if you want to set the static ip setting at this point in time it is optional but uh, going forward you may have to go and set up the api static ip settings in my case i already set up my local ip address right and uh, so once this is done you have to go and switch to the new mechanism the old mechanism is access token the new mechanism is api key right so the api key i'm going to go and generate a new api key over here I'll click on uh, new and uh, I'll click on generate. So I'm going to give an application name. So I'll say like uh, done uh, 
uh, or then or open i'll go whatever that you want to give and then you have to go and set up the redirect url the redirect url is from your dot uh, env file as well so this could be different if you are running in a different port or if you are running in your own custom domain so then you have to go and set up your host url accordingly so since i'm running in local host i'm going to give the redirect url as 127.0.0.1 colon 5000 which is where the open algo port will be running by default followed by that broker name followed by the callback that's the redirect url and once that is done you can click on uh, generate api key right so that will be you will be getting uh, api key and api secret so first i'll copy the api key i place it over here and followed by that i also copy the api secret as well and then i paste it over here and once this is done right so now we are good to go and uh, launch the application so i'm going to type uh, uh, it's very simple now so what i'm going to do is like uv oh come on so uv run app dot py that is what i'm going to run that will be starting up open algo this will be uh, installing all the python libraries and it also creates a virtual environment so it's a safest way and faster way to install the python libraries traditionally if you're going to use the traditional python method it is going to take at least 5 minutes to install all these libraries but when you're going to use uv method so probably it's going to be pretty much faster so yeah so it will be like within a uh, few seconds you'll be seeing that all the 145 libraries has been almost getting installed and uh, yeah the first time i'm compiling it is 12.91 seconds but uh, second time onwards it'll be taking it from the cache so it's not going to take much of a time probably the second time it will be taking hardly 1 to 2 seconds so once the application is started it will be start running in uh, port 5000 uh, that is where the flask application will be running and followed by that uh, the web sockets will be running at port 8765 and now i'm going to go and click on this uh, link over here where the open algo is running at port 5000 and i'll go and log in for the very first time uh, that will be opening up the initial setup so open algo is a single user app as i said so let me go and enter my credentials over here right and once i'm done with my credentials i will be able to log in to the application this is an open algo login and once the log open algo login is done right so you may uh, ask to log into the broker portal as well so let me sign in and now it is asking me to log into the dan portal so let me go and log in to dan i'll enter my uh, mobile details and then i'll let me click on uh, proceed from there i'll go and enter the dotp so once that dotp is entered validated successfully you will be asked for a pin i'll also enter the pin details as well and once everything is fine you will be automatically it will be redirecting to the trading dashboard right so that way it will be start downloading the master contract it will be taking like hardly some 5 uh, to 10 seconds to download the master contract and once the master contract is downloaded you will be getting the master contract successfully downloaded details and uh, you will be seeing this ready icon and also once the login is done properly right so ensure that you also going to the profile section and from the profile section you are uh, going and setting up the smtp configuration or probably the totp configuration uh, this will be very helpful if in case if you want to reset your account right so if in case if you want to if you forgot your password then the easiest way to recover is like uh, via mailer so you'll be getting a mail notification if you are uh, for that you have to go and set up the smtp and totp notifications and if in case uh, if you want to place uh, or if you want to test your orders before going live in the uh, uh before uh, starting your strategies in the live market so you can always test your strategy by switching over to the sandbox mode so from the sandbox mode can be controlled from the section over here the here is the sandbox section right in, if in case if you want to run your python strategies and you want to host python strategies inside open algo itself there is an uh, uh, python section is here where you can go and uh, configure your own python strategy you can host your own python strategy you can start stop those strategies and we also have this telegram bot section as well if in case if you want to transmit your uh, uh, alerts to order alerts or even you want to access these uh, telegram bot 
you can go and configure the bot and uh, you can get, set up the bot token and then you can start the bot right once the bot, bot is started you will be start receiving alerts and you'll be able to access the bots then we also have a uh, very interesting uh, PNL tracker as well so if in case if you want to track the intraday PNL we have the intraday PNL tracker we also have the sandbox configuration where you can go and set up these configuration settings where uh, it will be helpful for you to uh, test your strategies before going live and followed by that we also have a uh, trading uh, traffic monitor and latency monitor we also have an uh, uh, security which will be monitoring for any um, any threats which if at all if it is happening it will be uh, you will be able to ban that particular ip but this is particularly useful if you are hosting um, in a public facing domain or something like that then this security dashboard monitoring will be helpful for you to identify if there is any malicious activity you can go and ban them so this feature we have to implement very recently right so and then we have like a log section for the live logs and uh, for analyzer mode logs we have the ap analyzer section and uh, yeah so there are a lot of other features which we will be discussing in our upcoming session so I hope this explains uh, about uh, how to integrate OpenAlgo with Dan. So let me know if you have more questions. So please do comment down below the video. I'll be happy to assist you on that. Thank you. Bye-bye.